Going off that, how much do you rely on your senior leadership to get the younger guys to stay positive during this difficult time? Yeah, that's you got to have that. Can't succeed without it. Can't, can't. You can't. Your practices become. Young kids are emotionally tied up to winning and losing. That's facts of life. Uh, and when you got upperclassmen, they understand that dealing with both of those things is part of the deal, and not overreacting to either is the most important thing. And, uh, we've got that. You know, we've got a solid group of guys there. And they, they've done a phenomenal job. And, uh, we were as good yesterday as we have been in a long, long time. And that came from them, not from me. I didn't come in there and scream and kick chairs and do all the stuff that people think I do. You know, but I, I, we communicated, coach to player, player to player. You know, we, we were on both the way we do all the time. And those guys came out and, and yesterday were just off the charts. And, uh, and going back to the previous question, we. I feel we have refound that desire to play with just relentless pursuit of winning. And uh, uh, I saw it leading at the Vanderbilt. I saw it for a big part of that game. And I saw it even to a greater extent yesterday. Does that mean we're going to win? No. It didn't mean we're going to win in November, December, January. It just means that that's where our team is.